Welcome to Lunch and Learn Zoom Friday. On behalf of Livia Vo, Debbie McKinney, and myself, we want to welcome you. If this is your first time to visit us today, please type in the chat, hashtag newbie, and we'll give you a chance to introduce yourself and to our group here in just a few minutes. We're a group of entrepreneurs from around the world who gather online each week to celebrate achievements. We share best practices. We help one another rise higher, go further, faster. We do business together. We work on collaborations, joint ventures. We have a mastermind once a month on the second Tuesday of the month. And we have a co-op, which is like a, a global investment club. And every time one of our sponsored projects or events earns a dollar, our co-op earns 85% in the form of a revenue sharing royalty reward. And we are right in the process of uh, launching 2021 right now. So if you'd like some information on that or how to join our tribe, you can get with us or you can type in the chat, hashtag show me the money and I'll reach out to you. We are here to do business together. So we encourage you to contact everybody that's here. We'll be putting our information in the chat for you to contact here in just a little bit. And we like to keep our chat organized. So I'll call for that. So don't don't start putting all your stuff in there and don't put it in multiple times because usually this group gets quite large and it's very frustrating when you go through there at the end when you've saved your chat and you see the same person write the same stuff a hundred times and you're just wanting to get in there and add contacts and make connections so please don't do that so if you're a, if you're a newbie go ahead and put your information in there so the first thing that we want to do is do we have any celebration milestone achievements this week that we'd like to discuss Anybody have anything? Milestone. Go ahead, Kate. <laughs> Woo, look at Kate. What have we got going on today? Anybody notice anything about Kate? Uh huh. Is that Marilyn? Good morning. I just came back from India. <laughs> you did? And who yeah, might you been visiting there? I was actually doing an interview in India, and I've never been to India before. So I had to get up awfully early considering the time difference. And then I didn't realize it was going to be so long. So I jumped right onto this call. So I'm going to disappear and go and change soon. <laughs> oh, heaven forbid. So did you do any, did you do any singing to any politicians while you were there? I did do a little bit of singing. I actually sang a couple of songs and uh, did a wonderful interview uh, for a woman that has a inspired to dream group over in India and I was her first North American guest. Well we love that for those of you who might be scratching your head a little bit not knowing what's going on Kate is a Marilyn Monroe impersonator and she has uh, besides many other things that's one of her many talents and she has a beautiful voice and she has just recently pivoted and has done some of these events so that's pretty cool. Thank, Thank you, you for you sharing so Kate. Thank you. Anybody I don't think else? you should change, Kate. I want you to leave that on. Yeah, I think yeah. you should leave that on, especially for our uh, screenshot here shortly. <laughs> Anybody else? Well, I did see uh, that Ellie posted a shot. Hadn't got the details. Can't can't say, but it looked like she was on the set with Jack Canfield this week. So uh, I know she had that coming, and she also uh, has. Uh, a trip planned to go to Richard Branson's Island and do some work there. So we're all excited about her. Uh, another kudo, I saw where Barbara Britt, she was our um, on Alignable. She was chosen out of hundreds of entrepreneurs for our area. So she won number one on that. So check on my timeline and make sure that you congratulate all of our people for all the wonderful achievements that they've got going on. Anybody else? I'd say I, I have got, um, I, I think we're approaching 20 different joint venture collaborations, one of which uh, is on the calendar with uh, Laura and Helen Snell, even where we're doing joint venture webinar trainings, sharing the ticket sale, you know, doing all of this kind of thing. And I've developed, uh, I think we have scheduled right now, um, almost 20 of them between now and the end of this year. Uh, so that's kind of exciting. We're making micro products with them. So I'll be launching my academy, um, which is what I was hoping to get to. And I've been growing my team uh, with different experts. So we, we just hired um, 
three more and we might we might do two more than that so we might have five more additional team members with different expertise um, in my business so that's kind of exciting that's very exciting very exciting congratulations okay let's take a few minutes and introduce our guest garrett would you like to introduce yourself tell us who you are what you do and who invited you here today yeah, thank you so much. Uh, my name is Garrett Prince, and I was invited by Helen. Thank you so much, Helen, for the invite. Um, so I am a payment processor in Canada. Um, I'm in Edmonton right now. It is above one today, but last week was minus 44 oh. and at degrees Celsius for anybody who wants to check that out. Um, so what we do is we provide payment processing to any businesses out there looking to save money on payments and accept payments for under 2%. Um, we partner with two industry giants, Nuve and Global Payments. So we're able to get you a pretty reasonable rate on your payment processing. We also do have a um, affiliate opportunity. So anybody who brings us a client that signs up with us, we pay a referral fee for that. Um, so yeah, that's just a little bit about me and what I do. All right. Welcome. We're so glad you're here. Ted. Thank you so much. Thank you very much. Um, I'm Ted with Rated Trades Media Group, and I was uh, invited here by Jeff Berger. Thank you, Jeff. So I'm in the digital marketing realm, and what separates me from, say, my competition is we focus on local search engine optimization, and we do this through our reviews and ratings platform, getting our clients organic listings with the stars. I have about a 97% rate of first page results. So uh, I help improve your digital footprint. If that's not strong enough, I can help you with your reputation management and get you listed on over 70 different platforms and help manage those services so that the information going out there and being found online is accurate, up to date and correct. So if any of this interests you, I'd love to set up one-to-ones. Thank you. All right. Thank you. Glad you're here. You. Uh, Donna is a new member to our tribe, thanks to Olivia Vo. So Donna, you want to go ahead and uh, introduce yourself and tell us a little bit more. You've been here before, but go ahead. Okay. Thank you. Uh, my name is Donna Shukas. I am the owner um, and operator of Renaissance Lifestyles. We provide a variety of services for seniors and their families that are making transitions uh, here in Calgary. So um, if you have a parent uh, that is living in the Calgary area and requires any type of assistance and you're living out of country or out of province, um, I provide those services, anything from runaway um, or doing a, a slight reface of someone's apartment uh, for sale uh, after they've been moved to a senior's home or um, just really anything. It's just a matter of meeting the, meeting the client exactly where they're at. So I also have some dementia training and Alzheimer's society training as well. Thank you. Uh, thank you. Cole Watson, come on down. Thank you, Nancy. I was referred by Olivia Vo. Uh, my name's Cole Watson. I'm an insurance expert from California. And I focus in life insurance and the be your own banker, infinite banking concept. And I'm really happy to be here. I love to network with people. And um, if it's okay, I'd like to go ahead and throw my LinkedIn link in there so we can connect. All right. Thank you. We're so glad you're here. Lorraine Hughes. Good morning. I'm also from Calgary, Alberta in Canada. And I'm the fearless leader of Scary Bunny Fitness and Wellness Coaching. I've... Uh, been in the industry more in fitness since about 2003, um, multidisciplined. I'm also a nutrition and wellness coach, and I am a new author. I have a book that is being uh, released uh, International Women's Day on March 8th. It's called Fear Less, and I'm really excited about that. It's my first time authoring or co-authoring a book, and uh, I'm primarily in the probably 40-plus space uh, in terms of um, fitness clients. Uh, my focus is on ensuring mm -hmm. that as, as we age, that we can do it with strength and with endurance and resiliency so that we can continue to do what we want long into our lives. And, and um, my experience with uh, my parents, who have um, 
I've lost both of them now, but I did experience a nursing home situation and my mission is to keep people out of nursing homes. So I want to ensure that we can all age strong. All right, we're glad you're here. Thank you very much. And who referred you? I'm sorry. Um, actually, I found you on Facebook. I have a, actually a meeting with you next week, Nancy. Oh, fantastic, fantastic. Well, thank you for joining us today. All right, we'll go into our next topic. What are you reading this week? What kind of courses are you taking? I'll lead off with uh, John Maxwell's new book, Change Your World, How Anyone Anywhere Can Make a Difference. This resonated with me, which uh, Olivia and I are going to talk about something here in just a minute. And uh, Olivia, I forgot that I had ordered and had this sitting on my desk for this week. So I thought that was another little God wink for what we're going to talk about here. Uh, one of the things that we pride ourselves in in this group is we are all a group of entrepreneurs that truly we're ambitious, all right, and we're about making money and being profitable and all those things. But really, our overarching thing for all of us is we want to make a difference with our lives, not only just within our you know local sphere of influence, but we really want to make a difference in the world. So I'm really excited uh, to read this. I love John Maxwell. We've got a lot of John Maxwell trainers in our tribe. And so I can't wait to be sharing with you uh, some nuggets next week. Does anybody have anything that they would like to share that they've been reading? Yes, Jess, go ahead. I'm uh, in a Pinterest class. Um, actually, a I took an uh, intro and now I'm in a two-day boot camp. And let me tell you what an eye-opener. Um, the longevity of the effort you put into Pinterest lasts so much longer than any other platform I've seen or worked with or known about. So um, yeah, learning about all about Pinterest. Matter of fact, that's why I need to leave at one. So um, somebody save the chat to me for me and send it to me later. <laughs> we'll, we'll do. We'll do. Anybody else like to share what they're reading or anything? Yes, Fernando. I just got this book, which uh, is called Love is Just Damn Good Business. Do what you love in the service of people who love what you do by Steve Farber. It's a great nice. book. And also, I'm reading uh, one of the uh, trading in the zone. One of the things that's happening with the financial world is this is exploding and, and all over the place. So uh, just uh, start understanding much better what's going on. Fantastic. And just as a side note, uh, Fernando shared with me that, uh, the, Gene, go ahead and tell him what that's up this week. Oh, yeah. The, the uh, G999 went 200% uh, uh, increase growth. And one of the reasons for that is that we're a very, very strong community. There's a platform called uh, World Bets, and the community was 100,000 uh, mentions when the rest, the, the, the next, the second place was less than 20,000. So the yeah. community is very active, very strong, and that's what's driving the price. Well, I'm, I'm thrilled to death, and uh, Claudio and, and several of us will be talking to you a little bit later on, but I can't wait. Our co-op is going to get into the crypto space in March, uh, if not sooner. I've already got money uh, that I put in there, and we've got some exciting things going on, and uh, I just don't see it doing nothing but continue to go up. So you don't have to worry about getting it in yourself, even though we want you to, but you can join our co-op and kind of watch from afar and, and see and learn because that's what it is. It's all about earning as you learn. So I'm, I'm thrilled to death about that. Does anybody else have anything that they would like to share on what they've been reading or learning this week? Go ahead, Kate. Um, I actually am doing a four-week uh, intro class with a friend of mine who's an amazing coach, and it's called uh, Creating the Life You Love, and she's doing some very, very interesting work. So that's been really fun. I've also been doing a, it's a this is a long-term thing. It's a, a course on engaging with God and it's a, a whole new level of experience, understanding and relationship. That's been super cool. All right, great. Thank you for sharing. All right, now would be the time, just a minute, Bruce, I'll get you next. Uh, right now, go ahead and put your events in the chat. If you have an event coming up that you'd like to invite us to, or you want us to know about, you want us to promote for you, now would be the time to put those in the chat. Bruce, go ahead. The thing I mentioned before is, is that uh, Ellie Sheffley put together a eight-week accelerator course that I'm in, and so she has uh, six different coaches, and Jessica is one of them, and, and uh, Blaney Teal is another one, and, and uh, this is week number seven of eight, and this week is Blaney 
talking about all the different automations and whatnot you can do. And, and uh, it's just, it's been, oh, my head is exploding. It's just so much great information in that. So it's been a, a wonderful uh, experience. Thank you. Olivia, you wanna go ahead and share about our why experience this week? Oh, yes, thank you. Um, so through my LinkedIn connection, I invited uh, Tisha Marie Pelletier to do a networking presentation for our LinkedIn uh, trainees. And uh, she had mentioned that she was gonna be included in a panel from the Why Institute. And um, I don't know if many of you have heard of the Start With Why book by Simon Sinek. And so there was just this dentist, Gary Sanchez, that read the book and then created the Why Institute. <laughs> so um, it's all about defining your why, like why do you do things? And I think sometimes people, they know what they're doing and they lead off with that and they know how they're doing it, but they never really get to um, articulate why they're doing it. You know, what is driving that? And so uh, it's a really great presentation and they give us the offer to take a why assessment. And did you know there are like nine different whys? And so I'll put them in the chat, but I'll briefly go through them. And um, the nine whys include, you know, being able to contribute, you know, if that's your why, just be able to contribute to add value to others, uh, creating relationships based on trust. And there is making sense out of complex things is another why. Finding a better way of doing things, uh, doing things the right way, challenging the status quo with new thinking and innovative ideas, uh, seeking out mastery and understanding, seeking clarity, and then seeking simplicity. So my why was contribute, <laughs> and Nancy's why was also contribute, which is no surprise because we're constantly looking for ways to uh, bring entrepreneurs together and bring you programs and services and new offers to help grow your business, you know, and adding value to your everyday life and, and overall business development. Um, I, I made my husband take it. <laughs> Then this was clarity, which shocked me, you know, and I was always annoyed, but why was always asking questions, but that's his style. He, you know, being bilingual and being an adult immigrant, like that was his why, always trying to seek clarity and understanding and making sure his point was coming across and being understood. And he, so it just made so much more sense for me. So now instead of getting annoyed with him about asking him about him asking me all these like detailed level questions, I understand he's coming from a place of like clarity understanding. So it's well, done. And what, what was interesting about this is over 1000 uh, words or things that, you know, you, it's a little quiz that you take. Uh, it ends up being, you know, like what, 12 or 13 little things. And you just pick the one that resonates more with you now i've done all these personality tests and all the different you know the bank thing and all that love all of that but what's interesting is something that i've noticed and maybe you notice over time is i have evolved i'm actually a right brain left brain person and i'm sure that's due to my education as well as my work experience so i kind of drive people crazy because they can't figure me out most times because i do operate on both sides of my brain but uh that kind of just that really shocked me, to be honest with you, that that was my top thing. I mean, I know, you know, we know that we want to do that, but I just did not realize, I guess, how strong that comes through. So anyways, I think we can, uh, I have, I think three that I can give away. So if you'd like to take that little quiz, otherwise it's like 40 something bucks. And I don't know if there's an affiliate like for it, it, but I could uh, put your name down there and then you'll get three. And so I'll just give you, we'll give everybody the list and try and get everybody through here and let you do it. And maybe next week we can come on here on and discuss that. Okay. So if you're interested in doing that little quiz, put your name down here and I'll try and uh, route everybody through. So I thought that was pretty cool. Yeah, um, Nancy, and I want to say like, I wanted to guess Nancy because I've known her for some time now. It's like, okay, Nancy must be the challenger one, you know, like the interview. Yes, and that's what I would have thought. If you'd have asked me right up front, that's exactly what I would have, that's what I would have thought. So again. Yeah, which is why we get along <laughs> so well. <laughs> so I didn't hear what Nancy said she was. <laughs> oh, she is contribute. Her one oh. contribute. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Would not have. You ask me and I'm going to say, no, That's no, so I'm going to be kicking your butt all the way to the bank, man. <laughs> all you do is you got to contribute to kicking our butts all the way to the bank. <laughs> Maybe I guess. I just, I was like, oh, oh I can't believe it. All right. Uh, the next thing on our list, we got a couple of new things that we're going to be doing. I always like to keep y'all on your toes so you never know what's happening in here was um, I'm having a terrible time uh, because some of you. 
uh, joined the co-op, joined the referral partnership network and are paying your dues. Some are doing it through PayPal. Some are doing it through my Calendly account. And some of you are doing it through the website. So Bruce and I are desperately working to get everyone migrated over to the website. So what this means is I'm going to give you a code for all of you who have already joined, okay? And you're going to actually have three memberships or not three listings. You'll only have one listing, which is your primary, but you will have the co-op membership. You will have the network membership, and then you will have your dues. And you've already uh, paid for that. And so I'm going to give you a code that will zero that out. So if you're on a desktop, that will be uh, about line two, I believe. And I actually, I can do a screen share right quick to show you where it's at. Now, some of you, if you have a Chromebook, Ellie was telling me last night that that does not come up correctly. So uh, let's see here. But I wanna show you what I'm talking about. Tell me when you see my screen. Yep. So Nancy, does that mean we have three different codes? That we have to put in uh you will have two and i'll show you okay you go are, is my screen up yes okay. it's up okay so this is our website so you go here to members <laughs> and uh can you shut that door thank you uh click here become a member now you already should be here okay if you're not you need to get with me so that you can get your listing up this is the first one right here, Co-op Membership 2021. If you already are a member, this was an add-on that I gave you a special deal. The price went up a couple of times, but no matter, I need you to go into the Co-op Membership and click on Join the Co-op, use the code that I will provide so that we'll zero it out, and that will get you in showing you up as a Co-op member. Over here, it says Platinum Membership Network plus Co-op combined. This will be later we'll, when everybody comes up for renewal. You'll only have to do this one time. But right now, because we had people that joined up for the network, then we added the Co-op, and then you have to pay your dues. So that's three separate things, and it's really becoming, since we've grown so much, a nightmare. So the first thing you do, go to the Co-op Membership, join the Co-op. After that gets done, come back up here, do this again, become a member, go down here to co-op dues. Whatever level that you want to participate, this is what you choose. Now, if you are a founding member that opted to have two or more companies listed at our home-based business job fair as the exclusive one for our events, this would be where you pay the dues. It's $30 per company. And this is where you would click for that. If you have three companies that you did, that would be where you pay that. But generally speaking, just for everyday folks, this would be the line and you would choose 30, 50, and 100. And probably need to clarify, Bruce brought that to my attention last night, how this is going to work. 85% of all revenue generated by our events or projects is going to go back to the co-op. Right here, the founders will receive 5% off the top. So those of you who got in in 2020, just right off the top, 5% will be split evenly among all of you. Then the remaining 80% is going to be split equitably among all members, which are founders and regular members based on your dues. So for example, if this month our co-op dues equal $1,000 and you contribute 100, your percentage of anything that we earn is going to be 100 divided by 1,000. You contributed 10%, so you're going to get 10% of the royalties. Is everybody uh, clear, understand that, to be fair? So you can, you can, you know, you can bump it up if you want to, but we have 30, 50, or a hundred dollars, depending on what your budget is and how you want to participate. But again, down here, that is if you had two companies, some of you signed up for multiple companies. We do have the home-based business job fair coming. And also we have the author universe, meet the author event coming as well. 
and we put that on here last night. So for a vendor, if they would like to uh, sign up as an author, they have a couple of options and that's where they would go. All right. Uh, while we're talking about the website, Bruce, I believe Gary had an issue and a couple of other people had questions, not an issue, wondering where it was. On this website, you can post videos, you can put things for sale, you can do all kinds of things on this website. Bruce, if you'd like to go ahead and do a screen share and kind of uh, give them a little insight into that. Yep, okay, let's see. And Nancy, before he does that, are, are the codes working now? Yes, yes. Bruce and I stayed up late last night uh, trying to figure it all out and I think we got it, got it working. All right, I'll try it after this to see if mine works. Thanks. Okay, you see my screen okay? Yes. Yep. Okay. So when you first come in, this is the, to meetmyreferralpartners.com. On the upper uh, right area is the member login. You want to click on that. If it'll, here we go. And come on. There we go. You'll be logged in, you know, this is assuming you've created your your listing. <laughs> that that hint, um, hint, hint. <laughs> yes. This now this is really critical, people. This is you've paid for the being able to have this web page for you. It's it's and like it's SEO. Website. And I mean this will help you in your Google rankings being yeah. listed here. So in after you log in and you come to your page. You're able to um, just come through, and this this is the dashboard here. But you got all the navigation on the left, managing your profile. Um, you've got uh, you can also up at the top is there. There's uh, quick links and stuff for product. There's a difference between digital product and product. Product is a physical product that you're going to ship. That's what you want to list. If it's a digital download type product, that's where you want to put it under digital product. If you're wanting to create an article, you go to community article. Uh, if you want to create an event, you go to event section. Um, if you have a special coupon for products that you're, you're selling and stuff, you'd put it under the coupon. And then we also, some people have vacation rentals that they want to post and that. But um, if you want to upload a video, you go into the video section. If you want photos, go in there. It's like I've got, uh, uh, like for me, this is under products. Um, this is where, well, okay, it's not gonna show me, but this for a new product listing is what this is. Uh, you identify what the product name is and price and stock and various things here and stuff, and then get down to the description. So that's for the products. Uh, let's see, jump back for, oops. Back there you back. go, there's some. Yeah, there's, there's the product listings and that, but for- See, I mean, Marvel, this is really great, guys. It's like you have your own storefront and you're not having to pay for it. I mean, literally you can uh, put your stuff here and, and link back to it. You don't have to have uh, anything separate. I mean, if, if you do, that's fine. But I mean, this is very robust, which is why uh, we opted to get this and bring this forward for you. Yeah, and 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 creating an article is, you know, just put your your title in here. What uh, you know, what category you want it to be published under? Any smart tags in the content, and you got the image over to the right. And then once you're ready, you can go ahead and publish it. And then articles up at the menus up at the top here. You can, get in the articles and you can see all the articles. So, I mean, it's very robust in what you can do and, and share in that. And you, uh, by going to, let's see, I wanna view my listing again. So this is the way people, you know, your, anybody you point to this, 
this is the public listing that they would have that visible. So you can, you people can come in and send you a, a message directly, write a review. You can have them show your phone number and that, but just a little bit about you and your company and additional contact, your, your social media links, little uh, uh, like Twitter uh, links over here. I mean, it's very, um, and what we what we want to do just kind of kind of cast a vision here is if I could get everybody to get their listing up and put their products and services on, we can do some advertising to drive traffic to this website, which which is going to be key, you know, to increase your your visibility. So this would help all of us out uh, if you would if you would get that get that done as soon as possible be greatly appreciated. So now while I've got this up, is there any specific questions on what you've been, maybe you've tried to do something and you got stuck? Great, everybody's <laughs> well-trained okay. then. Okay. <laughs> Get in there and create your <laughs> listing. <laughs> there you go. Thank I you very able, much. I, I am unable to get in, so I'll, I'll talk to you later about that. Okay, we'll reset your password and and try it and try it again. Yeah, All there, right. There should, there should be a thing when you're logging in if you don't remember your password. Oh, okay. Be a link on there. What there we might do, Nancy, good. is um, highlight a profile. You know, each week, just a you know, quick little screen share of that person's profile, how it looks. Yeah. Yep. inspire everyone else <laughs> yeah and, and olivia's done that on on linkedin which is working out really great but it gives you some really good ideas because you know some of us are more creative than others and it gives you an opportunity to kind of look and see what other people are doing okay the other thing that uh, i wanted to introduce this week was how many of you if any watched the episode of the small business revolution did anybody Okay, so what we will do then is we will just play the trailer uh, and, and schedule this for next week because uh, I had invited you to come join us on Tuesday to, to just do a discussion and let, let's do a screen share right quick to give you an idea and I think you're going to be really excited about what it is that we're doing here. Okay, here's the website, Small Business Revolution. You click here, watch the show. We're starting with season one. And anybody notice Robert? Small towns across the country are fighting for their survival with the odds stacked against them. The factory started closing all at once. It seemed like Walmart and a target out on the edge of town and you end up with a shell of a community. It was a story all over the country. Deluxe and Robert Hershey went looking for one small town where they could make a difference. Let's take a right here on the main drag. This is small town America. Where our experts could team up with their entrepreneurs to put Main Street back on the map. We want to talk a little bit about your business. Every dollar counts, right? And out of thousands of towns across the country, America voted for one winner. The winner of the small business revolution Main Street is... And then the real work begins. Right now, you have a cash flow problem. Yes. Right? Big yes. One. You don't have a website today. Not currently. You got to raise your prices. For sure. No two ways about it. Every episode, we're helping a new small business. And together, we're going to start a revolution. It's just difficult sometimes. We left home at 16 years old and just figured it out. Sometimes we're riding on our last dollar. If we can't keep bringing people into the community, these small businesses are not going to make it. That's what the small business revolution at yes. Main Street is about. What makes this work is all of us together. This is awesome. This is awesome. Watch the transformation unfold in the online series.
Streaming now on smallbusinessrevolution.org. All right. Whoop. Bear with me. All right. So Deluxe has $500,000 and they had a contest. Everybody voted and each season they choose a new town to go in and every episode is one business that they go in and help transform. And so it's a small business development like a class. It's really super cool. And so uh, what we're doing on Tuesday in one of our other groups that they've allowed me to invite my group to come over, it's for free, and discuss. No matter what kind of business that you're in, the principles are the same. Anybody that's in here that's on coaching, leadership, uh, top training, consulting, they will tell you the nuts and bolts are going to be the same. Even though your business is a little bit different, there's something that you can learn from all of these episodes. And so next week, what I'd like for you to do is go in and watch episode three, which is the bridal salon. And then we're going to come in here and spend a few minutes just to kind of give you a taste of it and uh, see what resonated with you, the nuggets that you can use for your particular business and, and all of that. Just have a really good, you know, say 10 minute discussion on the episode just to see if y'all like it and if that's something that you would like for us to pursue. If you can't make it on Tuesday, we could do something offline. Another thing, but I really, after watching several of these episodes, if you notice Robert Hartzebeck, he is from the infamous Shark Tank. So he's amazing. He's one of my favorites on there. And I love his insights. And uh, it truly is, uh, they have rocked these towns. And that is the backbone of any uh, country, of any little hometown that's it. It's not the big, huge corporations. These are the people that you want to help. And so that's, you know, it really obviously resonated with my heart. So uh, please go ahead and, and do that for next week. And we'll, we'll try that again. Um, hey, Nancy, can you put the link? Okay, there it is. The, for that group that you were. Yes. Yes, I will. I'll send that out in our Eagle update so that everybody will have that. It's at 1130 on Tuesdays and it only lasts for 30 minutes. So it's a short one. So it's not going to take up a lot of your time, but it's been very, very insightful. Uh, next week, we will spend uh, the majority of the time with our pitches. We haven't done that in a minute. And so for the visitors, what we do is we uh, we spell out your pitch. And the goal of this group is to help you develop a 30 second, a minute and a half, three minute, a five minute and a 10 minute presentation. So throughout the year, we give you the opportunity to practice on us, on each other. It's a safe environment. We go into breakout rooms. We let you pitch and practice and we give you feedback. It's, it's a place where you're, you know, you're gonna get truly good feedback, honesty. So you're not going to hurt our feelings. We're here to make our pitches better, no matter whether you're standing in line at the grocery store, at your kid's ball game, or in a professional setting like this. We want you to have those pitches perfected. So bring an irresistible offer. It can be a discovery call. It can be a product or a service that you have. It can be an event that you have that you're wanting to sell tickets. We're here to do business together. So just make sure next week that is what we're going to um, work on. That's going to be our focus for next week. Uh, last week, uh, one of the tools and resources, we normally say what kind of tools and resources that you want to share that you've learned about this week so that you can share with the group. Well, one of those was this word art. And I believe it was Laura who had talked about the Mentimeter. And so she had sent out an email and I had sent out a reminder that to send three words that was uh, family meaningful for you. And so what I'm going to do right quick is if you want to change your virtual background so we can do our screenshot every week we have a theme and this week it was family. So if you'd like to change your screen to a picture or if you have something available for us to do our screenshot, mm. you can do that. 
And while we're doing that, we'll go around the circle. And instead of doing an introduction, one word uh, that can describe family. And I'm going to start with my one word, and then I'm going to give it over to Laura here in just a minute. My one word, dysfunctional. <laughs> All right, Fernando, one word. Happy family. We're, we're happy family. Ah, right, that's one word. Claudia, one word. Extended. Garrett. Young. Donna. We'll come back to you, Bruce. Uh, diverse. <laughs> Olivia. Comfort. Gary. Respect. Donna. Still thinking? She loves it when I put her on the spot, doesn't she? <laughs> I was actually letting my dog in, so I missed a little bit of what you were saying. I'm sorry. Okay, what, that's, no, I'm just teasing you. You'll learn my sensey quirk of humor here. <laughs> <laughs> one, one, one word to describe family. Challenging. Good. Vivian. Uh, love. Cole. Together. Priscilla. Happiness. Lorraine. Strength. Mary. Trees. Ted. Closeness. Who is that, Kate or Marilyn? <laughs> I forgot about the screenshot, but my head was getting really sore. <laughs> Go ahead, your one word. Uh, it was evolving. <laughs> Helen. Inspiration. Right, let's see who I missed. Laura. I have several, but we'll go with supportive. Barry. Blessed. Gary. I already gave one, but I'll give another. Oh, okay, well, my screen my screen moved around on me. I don't know what somebody left or come back in or something that always gets me confused. All right, Laura, did you have enough uh, submissions to make us a word art where you can share that? Sure, yeah, absolutely. Uh, so we had about 10 people participate. Um, and I'm just going to share it with you now. And that is what it looks like. Very cool. Very Can cool. I just tell you that you missed Jeff when you went around the room, Nancy? Oh, I'm sorry, Jeff. Do you no, have that, a word? I was going to say joyous. Nice. Very good. I don't think it's on there. Yeah. I apologize. No, that's okay. I raised my hand and then you went off, but that's okay. <laughs> All right. Thank you very much. And you want to share that website again and tell people a little bit more about that as a reminder, Laura? Sure. Yeah. And they, this is just one of the tools on Mentimeter. I'll put the website in there. You can use it for all sorts of different projects, graphs, like anything you're doing. And it, it's absolutely free. So it's a great place to go. I'll put the website in the chat for you guys again. Wonderful. And please make a post with that word collage too in our group. Yes. Yes. If you'll send that to me, Laura, that's all great. Right, for sure. Yeah. All right. Well, this is a great segue again. We're going to uh, mix things up a little bit, not do things the same way we've always been doing it. Laura, Nancy, did yes. we take our screenshot yet with our family pictures? No, we did not. Thank you for okay. reminding me of that. Got so got so tied up. I think that's the first time I've ever forgot. Normally, I'm the one that reminds everybody. All right, we're going to do a three, two, one countdown, and then we'll do it. I've got a couple of screens. So three, two, one. All right, hang on just a second. Three, two, one. Perfect. Thank you for the reminder, Olivia, keeping me on track. See why I keep her around, folks? She the girl. She the girl. <laughs> All right. Laura Armstrong is our featured speaker today. And I have been just thrilled to death to learn more about Laura. And I'm, I'm like going on her website, looking at all of her stuff all the time. And I am truly just amazed. Laura is a successful nice. athlete who has won world championships, folks. She's the owner and strategist. She trains others to succeed and be the best version of themselves. She's a communications expert and has certifications in multiple wellness modalities. 
Laura will help you to not only avoid pitfalls, but to take them off your radar and boost you to your full potential. Leadership with Laura specializes in two primary areas, business consulting, including the bank code methodology, and communication and leadership. Please join me in welcoming our featured speaker today, Laura Armstrong. Oh my God, for once I'm unmuted. All right. Uh, it's great to see everybody today. I, you know, I've really come to love our group and, and hear all the wisdom you guys offer. Um, I speak a lot on leadership and um, like um, Nancy said, I am a three-time world champion martial artist. Um, when, you know, and I, I won my first world champion title probably when I was in my early thirties, it took me three or four trips to the world championships to win silvers and bronzes, but that was never good enough for me. I always wanted first place. And that's just my mindset as an action personality type. Second place is the biggest loser. I wanted number one. And that's the way I compete. I'm just very competitive, right? As I've gotten older, that's meddled a lot because um, I just, you know, my body's like, are you kidding me? Um, so what I did is I won my first title when I was in my uh, early 30s. And then 10 years later, I went back and I won two more titles to see if I could still do it. And I did that just before, just after I hit 40. So here I was the oldest competitor fighting everybody who was younger than me. And I still took two titles. So it's not always about your body. It's always about your mindset, right? And so um, there are lots of things that I could talk on about leadership. Nancy, how long am I talking for? 10 minutes? 10 minutes. Gotcha. Okay. So um, what I did is uh, in my trainings that I offer people on different levels about leadership, because I think it is such a huge subject, right? Uh, I really wanted to talk about something that you guys can use impactfully in your business because you are all leaders in what you do on one level or another. And you really, first of all, need to own that, okay? Because you all have something special that's a spark about you uh, that other people want something up, okay? So I did this workshop that was the seven main characteristics of thoughtful leaders. And thoughtful leaders, as you'll notice, are some of the most powerful leaders in the world. It's not the dictators or the people who tell you do this, that, and this. It's the people who have certain characteristics that are space and big enough for people to move as human beings and help them do that in a way that works for them. Um, so I'm just going to have time to just go over a couple of them. Um, and one of the main ones that I, I really like is um, empathy and compassion. So that's the first one I talk about. And this isn't really woo woo or like kind of sappy. It's if you don't have these qualities in abundance as a great leader, then you're never gonna go really far. And I don't mean that as in, you're not gonna be a good leader. It's just, if you wanna keep expanding your universe, there has to be more of that empathy and compassion. So thoughtful leaders have the ability to empathize and be compassionate with others. Uh, and this is not like a weak or a soft trait, um, but one that establishes a leader with inner strength. So what you need to be asking yourself is how much inner strength do you have and how can you improve on that, right? Um, they also realize that others need support uh, and be willing to understand and give that without judgment, right? We're all on our own paths. Does that resonate with you guys? Give me like a nod so I know you're all breathing. Okay, good. Yes. Okay, cool. Um, you know, I guess you, what I want to say is, you know, they try to understand others um, and, they, and when they don't know the answer, um, they're smart, but they're also humble enough to go and seek out the answer. I'm the first one to do that because I don't have all the answers. So, but I'll go get the answer for you and then we can have a discussion about it, right? And not only does that allow you to um, be empathetic to them, but it also allows you to be vulnerable. And the more vulnerable you are as a top leader, the more I'm telling you, people will be attracted to you because not only does it make you human, it also allows them to feel safe coming into your space and creating trust with you, okay? And those are really important traits, okay? Um, when great leaders make decisions, they consider about how it will impact their team. And guys, it's never about you. So once you get over that, things are gonna change for you. Like it's never about you, it's always about them. What are you gonna do for other people? That's really what's gonna make you a great leader. So when dealing with situations or discussing, discussing options, they always find out what others think and why. Now there's a big difference here between waiting, you know, getting people's feedback and letting it make you the, letting it um, and using it to make your decision 
But what you want to do as a great leader is you want to take all the options and weigh it for the highest good of the situation or the people involved. Okay, and so how that's going to affect them, not just in the short term, but in the long term. And at first, this is hard to do because you don't have a gauge all the time. But the more you do it, you're going to see the bigger picture of things. Right. And so this is a really good way to get into that. Um, you know, it doesn't mean that you'll do or say what's given. They just want to see how others would respond to situations and how to best move forward. And this is also going to show you who the leaders are that you're working with. Okay, because the leaders you're working with will want more of what you have. The ones that don't want to be leaders, don't, they don't necessarily want as much, but they still want to be around the campfire as part of the group and feel like they're included. So your leaders are going to start to show up here when you start to do this, because they're going to take the principles you show them and apply it to their team. Okay, and this is how you grow. Um, so thoughtful leaders talk to their teams to see whether they have the right opinion of someone else's behavior. They value feedback and input and a not in a gossipy way. It's more like, I would love to hear what you think about this person. It's completely confidential, um, but I want to see what else I can do to help them. Okay, so you're not involving any kind of gossip or back talk there because that if you're going to bitch about something, bitch upwards to your upline. Don't bitch down. Okay, that's not going to get you anywhere. And what are you nodding your heads like, yeah. And I learned that the hard way a long time ago. So don't go the hard way, go the easy way. Right. Um, but you're going to find that bitching becomes a lot less as you move up in your leadership, because you're embodying the qualities that you want to be using to move forward and help your team do that as well. Um, empathy and compassion are skills developed over time by observing and listening to others' behaviors. And kind of included in this is communication. I know there, uh, Fernando's on here, he's a bank guy, and there's a couple other bank people. But communication is super key as a great leader. You have to be listening to people's values. Only 7% of what we, our communication is verbal. That's it, right? The rest is... Uh, active listening and body language. And because we're on Zoom, though I've been watching you all, I've picked up a lot of cues from all of you, right? So we, we have to actually be extra vigilant because we're not in front of other human beings. Um, you know, becoming, and, and so this is going to help you to understand the true reason why someone behaves as they do, not just guessing what might be going on with them. Okay, and as you do this more and more, you're going to get more experience. So being empathetic and uh, compassionate towards others is a sign of true power and willingness to help others become the best version of themselves. And I know I'm running low on time, so I'll just do one other one. Um, and I, I, you know, Helen and I were talking about this lady lately because I wrote an article about it. And it's uh, the other great quality that I love to talk about is introspection. Most people go through life looking outward. Okay, thinking that maybe it was someone else's actions that precipitated their responses. Okay, so for thoughtful leaders, they tend to look inside towards themselves um, to understand their own thoughts, feelings, and responses to situations. Okay, again, there's no blame game here because it's just not serving anybody. Um, other times they look inward to see what they could have done better. So I always, when I mess up, I'm like, okay, how could I have handled that different, differently and what would serve me and others better? So the three things I ask whenever I participate in anything is, what is my outcome? How is this contributing to me? And how is this contributing to others? And I got super clear on what I wanted for myself and others if I, when I started asking these three questions, okay, for everything that I did. Um, introspection makes people feel around you feel important and worthy of the time and energy you have because they think from the perspective of others. Okay, in both good and bad situations and understanding can become a lot clearer about how to resolve things and there's no mixed messages. Um, they'll also take uh, time, the time to see why someone is unhappy and upset and reflect on what may have been what may have happened or been done to, pre to perhaps create a different outcome. Right, so you're trying to like nip it in the bud before it gets worse or find out what happened and we have to change that for next time. This is why um, great leaders are always improving because they're always learning from their mistakes. And you know, like I don't, I have like three minutes left and um, you know, I've got a lot more to talk about there, but you know, um, the last thing I wanna say about um, uh, leadership today is thoughtful leaders take action. They don't sit on the back burner. Okay, they step up and they move up. And for me, I want to rule the world, but you are all doing it right beside me. 
So I'm willing to bring everybody along with me. So what are you willing to do in your leadership is what you need to start asking yourself. And thoughtful leaders are rarely stuck in analysis paralysis, okay? A lot of the time they'll quickly formulate a plan to move forward um, and take meaningful action. But then and remember, you're using all your introspection and your empathy and compassion in there too. So it's a bit of a complete package. So just kind of like in conclusion, thoughtful leaders stand out. They're the ones who stand out because of the way they treat people, the way they manage their careers and measure up against challenging goals. They step up. Thoughtful leaders are greatly admired and deservedly so with a little effort, it can make a big difference in earning the respect that goes with being thoughtful. And remember, listen and observe twice as much as you speak and you're on the road to success as a thoughtful leader. Thanks so much. Thank you, Laura. Fantastic job. Everybody use your uh, reaction button down there. <laughs> Great job. Does anyone have any questions or insights for Laura? Laura, sometimes the introspection can seem like time consuming. So how do you factor that in? Like, how do you make time for that? You know, there's different ways that you can approach it. You know, uh, meditation is introspection. So like, are you spending five minutes doing that? You know, and I always think about things that are coming up for me. You know, let's say I'm having a meeting or something. I will take some moments before that meeting to have a bit of introspection. What, you know, and ask those three questions. What is my outcome? What is this contributing to me? Is it contributing to them? And then I, that kind of gets me thinking about the situation and, and what, how I'm going to approach it when it comes up. Yeah, for sure. That's a good, really good question. And you know what? It's just practice. <laughs> and, and one of the things that uh, I, I don't recall where I got it from, but I used to practice it way more than what I do right now. And this is just a reminder that I need to do it was at the end of your day, you can talk about what went well, you know, what needed improvement and, and just do it on a daily basis. And that really can give you insight. You know, a lot of times we're thinking, where did the day go? It's like, I didn't get anything accomplished. Well, you need to address that, you know, try and figure out if there's some triggers or if there really was something that, you know, couldn't happen, but you can do it on a weekly basis. You know, what were your weekly wins? What was your, you know, problematic areas and what could you do better next week? to uh, make sure that that doesn't happen. So anyways, thank you very much for a very informative uh, talk, Laura. My we appreciate, appreciate your efforts. Let's take some time now to introduce ourselves and go around the room and let's shoot for, let me get my timer out here since Marsha is not available today. We'll do, uh, let's see here, it's 12.31. We'll shoot for a minute on each one so Jeff, would you like to go first? Sure, thanks, Nancy. Hi, I'm Jeff Berger, founder of Abundance and Optimum Wellness, physically, mentally, and financially. As a certified health and integrative wellness coach, I show stressed out entrepreneurs how to increase their mental fitness with holistic coaching for overall heightened well-being. 2021 is gonna be the year for mental edge, mental fitness. It's all about motivation, metabolism, and mood. So I am here to find those people who are looking to increase their mental edge and uh, reach out to me with the holist hashtag holistic wellness gladiator as there's my new logo. Looky there. You. Do, you have, uh, do you have your uh, shield yet that you're gonna show us? <laughs> We're gonna have to go. We're gonna have to go down to the party store and get you one. And I'm gonna find you one. I'll send it to you. <laughs> we're gonna. Yes, we're gonna have to. You do need that. a prop. You and need I a actually, prop. I actually would, did that one. Did you see it? There you go. I, I put that up. I got that for you. I couldn't. I didn't find the right shield that I liked. So very cool. I like that hat. All right. You had plenty of time. Thank you. Thank you. All right, Barry Milliman. And and another thing, don't forget. And he used his. But for those of you who it's been a while, don't forget the call to action. At the end, what do you want us to do? Do you want us to order something from you? Do you want us to book a discovery call and use a hashtag? Because uh, in case you realize, you know, our groups get large. We never know how many is going to be on here on Friday or maybe in some of your other groups. So use those hashtags so we can quickly go down through there and use it as a branding thing. Okay, where we can easily find you. And what was your hashtag, Jeffrey? 
Hashtag Holistic Wellness Gladiator. And I just want to do a quick plug. Ted Gill, who's on here today, worked with me on my logo up here. So thanks, Ted. All right, Ted, we're going to talk offline. Thank you very much. All right, Barry, would you like to go next? I'd love to. So if we haven't met, I work with you and your family to take care of your health, your beauty, your well-being by introducing you to North America's number one online wellness shopping club. We manufacture naturally powered, high performance, exceptional products at reasonable prices. So you're not making a buying decision, you're making a shopping decision by just switching stores and shopping at Melaleuca. We are over 35 years old, the original green, the original essential oils company, manufacturing over 450 products so you can take care of yourself and your loved ones. I'd love to do a one-on-one -on -one so I can introduce you to Melaleuca, the wellness company. My calendar is in the chat and I am the Melaman. All right, you have about 10 seconds left. So I would like for you to tell us about those shopping aisles that we talked about. Uh, six of them, uh, really simple. We take care of anything for your health and your body, inside and out, cosmetics, products you use in your bathroom, your kitchen, your laundry, everything without a childproof cap because it is all pure and it's all concentrated up to 12 times. And cosmetics, better than anything you see on television because we don't waste the money on the uh, actresses and uh, oh, I blew it there. Nope, so, you're good. so we save you 30 to 50%. And we put all the money into the products, not to those ladies. So please see us again. I am the Melian. Thanks, right. Nancy. Thank you, Claudio. Thank you, Nancy. Uh, I am Claudio. I am with a company called Cash FX, and I help entrepreneurs that want to diversify their passive streams of income by helping them create one that's as easy as one, two, three. It's been said that. Most millionaires have at least seven streams of income. Wouldn't you like to add one that really is that easy? Takes little to no effort. You can get in for as little as $300 US. Why let the banks make the billion dollars, billions of dollars in profits every quarter with our money? What they do is they take our money, they pay us half to 1%, they go to the foreign exchange market and make billions. Cash FX does that for us, for the people. So we basically eliminate the banks out of that equation. Book a conference call with me. I'd love to show you and teach you more about it. My hashtag is the money guy. Thank you. All right. Now would be the time as we're going through these, you can put your contact information and offers in the chat. All right. Garrett Prince. Hello. Good morning, everybody. I'm Garrett Prince, payment processing, PayNiv. Uh, we help small to medium-sized businesses save money on payment processing. Uh, if you're not processing more than five to $5 million and up, you definitely can't go to the bigger partners and get discounts. So we tend to come in and give you a much better rate than you can get from your bank or any of the independent offices out there. Um, if you guys want, I can do a free consultation with you, look at what you're paying, payment processing, and we can direct you as to a cheaper way. I can show you where we can save you money. And how will they do that? Uh, you, their... in, the, in the chat, you can just put uh, hashtag PayNiv and I'll reach out to you. Perfect. Thank you very much. Donna. I'm still working on all the pitch because I've had that's to That's okay. That's what we're here for, to give you a Perfect. chance to practice. Okay. Hi, my name is Donna Shukas, and I am the owner and operator of Renaissance Lifestyles. At Renaissance Lifestyles, we take all of the stress out of adult children, aging parents, and seniors and their families. We do this by providing a range of services through a senior's transition, which is, includes uh, long distance moving, um, downsizing and organizing and um, project management as well as uh, senior uh, concierge. Okay, and how, what, what do you want them to do? Uh, for, um, 
Do you want them to book for an stress appointment relief, with you? Okay. For stress relief. Um, and just, um, okay. Don't carry the load on your own. Call me and allow me to carry the load for you. Good job. Thank you. Olivia? How many of you are on LinkedIn? If you are not active on LinkedIn, you may be missing out on some very valuable connections. So my name is Olivia. I am your LinkedIn Vibe expert. I want to help you increase your visibility, impact, and brand expression on LinkedIn. So I do this by you know, teaching you simple lessons through my webinars held weekly on how you can improve your presence on LinkedIn. So what, what I want you to do today is join my Facebook group. It's called Successful LinkedIn Action Takers. So I invite you to join there and catch up with all the uh, new tips and tricks of LinkedIn. I'll include that in the chat box for you. And my hashtag is hashtag LinkedIn with Olivia. Thank you. Fernando? There you go. Hi, the only reason crypto has not gone mainstream is because it hasn't been easy to use until now. I help people break into the crypto space and grow. You can have a very convenient opportunity to buy, sell, spend, save, grow, trade, and earn crypto assets in one platform. I would be happy to share some more information if you are open to taking a look. And let's get you on, a, on the crypto and golden path. Uh, my name is Fernando Espinosa, uh, and the uh, hashtag is hashtag G999. All right. Thank you. You have 24 seconds left, so you can add a little bit more uh, information if you like. Yeah, the, the coin just grew 200% this week, and the community is getting stronger and stronger. And the, 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 one of the main things that crypto grow, cryptos grow is because of the community. So you're welcome to come in. All right. And this is one of the uh, products that we're looking at for our co-op to have a MasterCard that you'll be able to house uh, crypto and fiat currency, like your dollars and different things. So we'll talk about that later, but that's one of them that I'm excited as well as the cash FX. So thrilled to death. Vivian. Hi there, I'm Vivian Geffen and I'm coming to you today as a, a Healy representative, someone who uh, owns, uses and sells the Healy technology, uh, the micro frequency current device. And uh, I'm very excited because for the month of February, if you've heard about it and you're holding out or you wanted to, to get it on special, they are offering, um, you get the next level up from the price that you pay. So if you, so anyway, it's like a free upgrade and um, it's, it's a very interesting product. I've bought it and I've used it. I haven't talked about it before because I really wanted to spend some time using it before I talked about it. And um, I have found it to be quite helpful for my, I don't want to make any claims that I'm not allowed to make, right. but if you want to talk to me, then you can talk to me. Um, right. And I put my time. Okay. How do you want them to connect with you? Um, you can, I will put my email address and a link to my calendar on the chat. Okay. Do you want to put a hashtag? Have you come up with one yet? You can just put hashtag Healy today. All right. Thank you. H-E-A-L-Y. All right. Great. Cole Watson. Thank you, Nancy. My name's Cole Watson and I'm a life insurance agent in California, and I help teach people the way money really works so that they can eliminate debt, retire with a tax-free income, and leave a legacy with for their family or for a charity. Have you ever considered what would happen if the worst case scenario happened to you? When I was 17, my dad was murdered, and my mom worked at Carl's Jr., and so we were, we were, we didn't see it coming. It came out of nowhere. And uh, my dad had a policy. And so my mom was able to quit her job. I was able to continue going to the same school. And I just don't know how that scenario would have been different if, if he hadn't had that policy in place. So I have no reason to believe that you're not happy with your financial situation or that you're, you're not insured. But if you want to have a conversation about it, 
please contact me and I'm open. All right, per perfect timing on that. Great job. Do you have a, a hashtag that you would like to use or just for today? Up, oh, you're on, you're on mute. I'm still working on the hashtag. All right, no problem. Priscilla Rose. <laughs> Hello, everyone. I'm Priscilla Rose. I'm an associate of Legal Shield, ID Shield. Now, today, unexpected legal questions and identity theft issues arise uh, each day for us. But with Legal Shield uh, helping you, you will have access to experienced law firms and attorneys, as well as licensed investigators, skilled in identity theft monitoring and restoration. So, we, so with Legal Shield, you will no, ma no matter uh, you no matter you will have traumatic. Excuse me. <laughs> so with Legal Shield, no matter will you have traumatic or trivial uh, issues because you'll have the power to get legal and identity theft advice and services when you need them, all because of Legal Shield. Now our services. Nope. Time. Out, on, hashtag. Uh, I don't have an hashtag right now. <laughs> so hashtag Legal Shield. You can just use that one for today. Nobody else, I don't think, is is uh, promoting that today. So let's do hashtag Legal Shield to reach out to Priscilla. Okay. Mary Long. Hey, everybody. There's a bunch of new people, so I'll kind of reintroduce myself. My name is Mary Long, and I'm an engineer and an integrative medicine doctoral student. So I like to say I'm a quantum wellness coach, um, engineer turned med student. So I work as a quantum wellness advisor and business coach. Uh, I help people to transform spiritual, emotional, physical well-being using energy medicine and natural wellness practices. Um, I have a background in the energy industry, electric vehicles, the electricity grid. So a lot of energy and alternative energy. I'm also in energy medicine. So that's why I do quantum work. I'm a mathematician. So I'm helping as a business coach, I'm helping holistic wellness practitioners expand their businesses by adding Kangen water machines as an additional source of income to their practice. Um, so I'll drop my information in the uh chat um, but you can reach me as an engineer or as a holistic health practitioner thanks love the new pitch mary uh those of you after you visited for a while we come in here and we change our pitches up from time to time and we do that and i love the quantum uh wellness uh physicist that's that's really great so just wanted to give you some kudos on that new pitch it makes more sense thank yeah. you yep yeah. Good, good job. And we'll be t ripping these apart and, and dissecting these, the stories and all of those things in your pitch for next week. So uh, good job. Helen, the queen of storytelling, come on down. <laughs> Hi there. So I work with uh, business storytelling through done for you services, workshops, as well as one-on-one -on -one training to effectively communicate your message through attraction marketing that really converts. So it starts with knowing your story first. So what I'd like to offer today is if you want to um, click on the link in the chat, you can download your free story biography there. Uh, if you want to connect with me for a half hour consult to get to know a little more about my services, I will post a link for that today as well. Okay. There I am. It always takes me a minute to find that button. I don't know. It's a habit, I think. <laughs> Hi, I'm Kate Unger. I am your healthy lifestyle and image coach and Marilyn Monroe impersonator. Sorry, I got changed, but my head was starting to feel really squished. And so I help busy entrepreneurs to look and feel amazing in less than 30 days. And know how that how you show up impacts your confidence and your results. To find out more, book your complimentary 20-minute phone call with me, and we can find out what it is that your needs are and what we can actually even address on that 20-minute phone call to give you a leg up and a step forward. So beauty doesn't start just skin deep. It does start from the inside out. So know that the outside just amplifies. So increase your visibility, impact, and income, and move forward. Hashtag. Hashtag is amplify your brand. 
All right, you had three seconds to spare. Good job. Thank you. All right, Ted. Thank you, Ms. Nancy. Again, I'm Ted with Rated Trades Media Group, focusing on digital marketing and local SEO. Um, did you know that nearly half of adults say they Googled someone prior to doing business with them? And 45% of those people have found online search that made them decide not to buy from them. Whereas another 56% have found something that solidified them to do business. What does your digital footprint look like? I help you with that. I help find mistakes out there. I help push bad information down and um, make sure that all of what you're projecting for yourself and your business is up to date, correct, and accurate. Um, my information's in the chat, set up a one-to-one. -one. I'll be happy to look at yours. We can do a free scan, check things out and get you off on the right track. Thanks. Thank you. You had about two seconds left. Uh, I'll be getting with you to uh, see if you'd be interested in being a featured speaker on here. This is one of the recurring themes uh, throughout that small business revolution that uh, are hindering a whole lot of businesses. And with the internet and all the uh, tools and resources that we have available, there is no reason why that we are not being viewed just like the corporations are. So anyways, I'm sure Ted is just the guy to help us get that done. So looking forward to learning more about you and your business, Ted. Thank you. Thank you. Lorraine, would you like to go next? Sure. Thank you. Um, I am the fearless leader of Scary Bunny Fitness and Wellness Coaching in Calgary. I help that? people age with uh, strength, endurance, and resiliency. My business, um, I have three main areas, move, grow, and inspire. Movement is relative to the fitness offerings um, that I teach, currently all online via Zoom. I'm a coach, uh, caregiver coach, wellness coach, and a nutrition and fitness coach. And Inspire is my new book release as an author and as a speaker. Um, my website, Scary Bunny Be Fit, currently under construction, don't, don't go there yet, um, is big change since its original one, but that's where I can be found. I'm on LinkedIn, Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter under Scary Bunny Be Fit or under Lorene Hughes. Um, and I invite you to register for a complimentary 20-minute nutrition and activity assessment. All righty. And make sure everybody puts their uh, information in the chat. So as, as a recap, next week, come prepared with a 30-second intro, and we'll do that in the main room. And then when we do our breakout uh, sessions, Probably, uh, I had said three minutes, but I think what we need to stick with is probably this minute was really good today, gives you a chance to introduce yourself and give you an offer, and that way we've got more time to discuss. So instead of the three-minute pitch next week, come prepared with a one-minute, which is what you had today, and make sure you have a, an offer and a call to action at the end. So introduce yourself, who you are, what you do you know, what makes you unique, what you can, and then your irresistible offer for next week. Um, what I'd like to do right now is give our visitors a chance. We don't do this every week, but a lot of times we do. Give us your feedback and you can be brutally honest how you enjoyed your time today or what we can do to make uh, this a little bit better platform for you. Garrett, do you have anything that you'd like to share today? Um, yeah, this is actually pretty interesting and intriguing that you guys all come together to help each other grow um and it's 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 free it's you know it's we're willing to help each other there's no like oh pay me and i'm gonna help you i really like that and i i like working with people like that and i was so happy that helen actually just mentioned it and we had we had such a fantastic half an hour call and yeah this year my goal was honestly just to help small businesses and I think, you know, just putting myself out there and networking and marketing with people like um, this group is, is awesome. Thank you so much for having me. All right. Thank you. Cole, do you have any feedback for us? You're on mute. I just want to thank you for having me. It's a, it's a great networking room here. I, Nancy, I love your accent. I'm so sorry. What I'm accent? California. What are you talking about? I don't about? get to, I don't get to hear it very often. And she I just, speaks correctly. What are you talking about? I could listen to you talk all day long, and and you're just 
so organized and keeping this thing running like a like a well-oiled machine. So I really enjoyed my time here and, and I would love to come back again. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Yeah, uh, my first duty station with my little army husband years ago was in California and it took me a while to figure it out, but people would like uh, chase me around the store and ask me a question. It wasn't, was never a yes or no answer. It was always, it finally, you know, click. They just want to hear me talk. That's all that is. <laughs> it's true. I could oh, listen. Oh gosh, that's funny. Well, you know, I hadn't been there in, in forever, but anyways, thank you. Thank you for that. Ted, <laughs> do you have anything you'd like to share with us? Yeah, I mean, I, I really like some of the networking tips that you guys offered and all the variety of web links. I've written a bunch down. I'm copying the chat. I'm going to check a lot of those out after the meeting. And I just find that super helpful to help grow the business with some of what you've offered there. All right, great. Lorraine. Uh, thank you for having me. I've enjoyed my uh, time here. It's uh, really the first time I've sort of entered into a networking arena like this uh, in, a, in a lunch and learn space. Um, I've been sort of getting used to doing everything via Zoom now and connecting with people via Zoom and um, especially as I'm going about rebranding my business in this COVID era. Um, and I love the fact that you guys share um, tips throughout the session and um, I'm, I'm happy to hear um, people's businesses even as a newbie sometimes you come into these things and everybody already knows what everybody does and and you feel sort of left out so it's it's nice that you do that through the meeting so that um, as somebody new visiting you get a, a better chance to um, know who else is uh, on the call so I thank you very much I look forward to speaking to you at our meeting next uh, all right thank you very much uh donna i know you're new and you've only been here a couple of times uh, what can we do to better serve you i'm learning i mean i've been a part of network groups and things for a long time but this is just really different because there's a lot of um usually the network groups that i'm in are usually in canada so it's just a little different just a little you know, a little bit different, but um, I am really getting a lot of information. I'm always making notes and um, you're also a very encouraging group. So I just like to say that um, it's, a, it's a very comfortable place to be. I think this is my second time here, I think. And, um, and I just look forward to a few of the other times and, uh, and coming back. So I really don't know right now. I think I'm getting what I need from the group and I'm trying to give back what I know, which is very different than coaching or speaking or anything like that. So that's kind of the, sometimes the challenge that I find putting my business into the, the same as some of the other businesses um, when mine is really a niche super niche service so well we will um we'll arrange some times where you can do your meet and greet with me and this is kind of where we can go over and do some brainstorming with you and help you and help you with that um Perfect. anybody Thank else you. have any uh, any uh, insights you know we it, anytime you you have a new resource or something that you'd like to share with the group that's you know this is the place that we do it we do try and keep it organized and you know I change it from week to week but we we do have a few categories that we kind of keep keep going uh Olivia do you have any closing remarks yes so Laureen is speaking about her book that's going to be released on uh, March 8th International Women's Day and we have an event coming up in April you know, meet the author marketplace. So Laureen, check that out. <laughs> and for any of you, you know, please um, keep posting or reaching out to people that you know in your network who are authors, aspiring authors, because this will be our flagship event coming up in April. We're super excited. I'm putting my recruiting skills to use and finding authors on LinkedIn. To yes, we have 75. Uh, we're limiting this one to 75 authors and then we'll be selling tickets for $5 each for the uh, attendees to come in and sit down with the author, meet, discuss their books. They can buy the books, talk about their upcoming projects, just a great way to get additional exposure and, uh, and increase your audience and some prospective target audiences. So I'm very excited, very excited yeah. about that. Exactly. And so just think about like when you went to the bookstore like Barnes Noble and you like lined up <laughs> to get your book signed. So this can be virtual, you know, how many authors had to put their book tours on pause. And so 
you know, this is a really exciting time for us to bring that together. I miss those days. Does yeah. the book have to does the book have to be published by the event? Well, it would be good. You can do a digital or you could do like maybe a chapter or something like that if you wanted to do that. You know what I'm saying? Like a little sample, just introduce and you might use it for market research. You know, yeah, get sure. a little ebook or something like that, little little sample. Okay, yeah. I'm I'm I haven't announced it before, but I'm in the process of co-authoring a book that should be released about that time. So I don't know exactly the date yet, but okay. um, we're doing that in March, April should be complete. All right. Sounds great. Well, all right, everybody. Thank you for attending today. And I look forward to seeing you next week. Take care. Have a great weekend. Don't forget to save the chat. Yes. Yeah, save the chat. Bye, everyone. Thank you. Everybody. Thank you. Bye, Bye everyone. Thanks. Have a great Bye -bye. week. Bye. Bye-bye.